Capturing exposure sequences for computing high dynamic range images causes motion blur in case of camera movement. This also applies for light field cameras such as camera arrays. Images composed from multiple blurred HDR light field perspectives are also blurred. Instead of recording all exposures sequentially for all perspective cameras, we apply the spatiotemporal exposure pattern to reduce motion blur. We encode four exposure times in each repeating camera quad duple of a camera array. A regular exposure sequence leads to long recording intervals and consequently to motion blur if the camera is moved. Our spatiotemporal exposure coding leads to a shorter recording interval. Within each camera quad tuple, the shortest and longest exposures are captured only from one perspective each, while the two medium exposures are recorded interleaved from two perspectives. For each of the four different exposures that are recorded at varying perspectives, we compute a depth map. Since these depth maps vary locally in quality due to motion blur for higher exposures and due to low signal to noise ratio for the lower exposures, we compile them to a single composite depth map based on the depth confidence criteria. This composite depth map is then segmented into different depth layers. For each depth layer, we track features in the low exposure images. The optical flow of these features allows us to determine the local point spread function that causes motion blur in higher exposures. These point spread functions are used for motion deep blurring of each recorded exposure image at all camera perspectives. By shifting the point spread functions before deconvolution, we can receive three subframes with varying exposures for each recording interval at all perspectives of each camera quad tuple. Compared to classical exposure sequencing, this leads to a times 3.75 higher frame rate. Finally, we interpolate deep blurred exposure images that have not been recorded from particular perspectives. Combining them results in HDR images for each camera perspective. These results illustrate wide synthetic aperture shallow depth of field images rendered from a light field that was recorded during camera motion. The focus setting is indicated by the arrow. The top row compares conventional exposure sequencing with our coded exposure approach. The images show the dome mapped HDR data. The bottom row presents regular low dynamic range recordings at two different exposure times. Using color coding instead of tone mapping visualizes the dynamic range of the recordings. 